Good afternoon YouTube, this is Mayan Trey once again, and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Road to Glory career mode. We are going to be starting this episode off with the very first competitive match of the season here against Morkum. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League 2. It's Northampton Town against Morecambe. Time we headed straight off to Northampton. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me. League Two. Football. And look at that fantastic Today, newly built six-field stadium, the new and improved version. Trent Trill two will pass over to Hornby, who kicks it forward to Richards, who gets taken down. Pretty rough again. Luckily, he wasn't injured this time. Tony steals it back. Richards recovers one on one with the keeper, and he puts it past him. Quick response less than 10 minutes later to the very hard tackle right after returning from his previous injuries. Very early on, up 1 0, and I can't maintain possession. But luckily, they take an ill advised shot, goes way over the net, just sails it. Here we are late in the half, and we got another attack here. Tony kicks it forward to Hackett, who just shoots it right at the keeper, and they clear it way out of bounds. Muhammad takes a pass from Hornby, and he gets taken down. Morkum is not tackling very well at all. And the ref's not going to have any more of this. He's going to pull out that card. He's going to book him for a yellow. Jordan Archer getting in on the rough action here with that WWE-style flip move. Oh, and he saves it from going out of bounds. And the recovery. Maintain possession. Cleared out. And that'll do it for the first half. Going to head into halftime. Stats are looking a lot better this time around. About 50-50 split almost on possession. Let's hope we can keep it up in that second half, build that lead up, and we can take this three points to start the season. About a third of the way through the half here. We got a little bit of a build-up play from the uh, from Morecambe here. Put a little shot on net, but uh, Jordan Archer parries it away, no problem. A few minutes later, another opportunity, but Jordan Archer with a save. And he kicks it forward. And he goes past the defender. Tony's in a foot race with the keeper. And he almost steals it, but can't hold on to it. Raven Hill trying to jump on the back. Can't stay on his feet. Jordan Archer with another great save. Late in the half here and a terrible cross by Morecambe. Let me go ahead and start to make a substitution once I hear the announcer say that Morecambe's making a substitution as well. And I think what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to bring in Alex Nichols for his first action seen since returning from his injury. And he's gonna substitute for Alex Tony or for Ivan Tony. See, test him out a little bit, see how he's recovered from that broken ankle. Didn't want to leave him in there too long because he's obviously not gonna be 100 percent yet. Don't want him to get re-injured. Pass up to Ravenhill, and the defender goes right through him to take that ball down. Kenyon. And he's gonna get booked. That's a yellow. Right around the 80-minute mark of the game. Very ill-timed tackle there. Just had to go straight through Ravenhill. Muhammad with a throw into Richards. Richards is going to pass it to Nichols in the box. Nichols gets taken out. That same ankle that was recovering from. Luckily, he didn't suffer an injury. But Kenyon is going to get another yellow. That's going to get him sent off. And we've got a penalty kick. Let's see if we can make this a 2-0 game. Mark Richards is going to take the kick here. Powers it up. I'm going right. And the keeper goes the right direction. And they clear it out. Nichols on the throw in. Has an opportunity. The keeper makes a great save. And Dath regains control. Kicks it on the volley, but the keeper recovers very nicely. Hackett with the corner kick. And it's cleared out of bounds. And that's going to do it for the game. And we end this one 1 0 and give it the three points to start the year. And these are the ratings here for my players. Looks like everybody finished in the sevens for the most part, except for Archer, looking pretty good with that 8.2 rating. John Joe too looks like he's gonna miss a few days. Same injury that Mark Richards suffered, that bruised shoulder. 
It's not going to keep him out too long, though. So we're probably just going to have to play one or two games without him. Which includes this upcoming Capital One Cup here against Sheffield United. Sheffield United, of course, being a League One division team. It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. It's Sheffield United in our match today. A game. foggy night here, about 12 minutes in. I get an opportunity right off the bat. Oh, and he pushes it wide. Just past the keeper. It's a great through ball. A few minutes later, Sheffield United into the box. Has their own opportunity. And the header goes wide as well. Connor Roberts through ball to Sinclair. But he can't beat the keeper to it. Doyle on the outside of the box, moves in, crosses it to the middle. The header off of the post, luckily. Catch a break there. And right before halftime, they come in and Archer with the save. So it looks like we may go into half. And how is that not a penalty? Just doesn't get the ball at all and takes the guy down. Tony with a shot, the rebound. Sinclair can't quite get it. And it looks like they're able to clear it out. We're going to take that into halftime. 0-0 zero, zero score. Possession not looking too good, but they are a better skilled team, but we are getting pretty good opportunities. Let's see if we can keep it up. Right off the bat here, though, let him right in. Well, the well, man. A few minutes later, the 70-minute mark, they're able to come in again. Archer with another fantastic save. Archer very quickly looking like the man of the match so far as he makes another save here. Just non-stop action for Archer. He's looking like Tim Howard in the U.S. versus Belgium World Cup game. And right before the end of regulation, we get lucky with an offsides call. Extra time here. Sinclair passes up to Hornby, who's going to rifle off a shot here. Jumps up above everybody and puts it in the back of the net. That gives us the lead. Ten minutes into the extra time. Still have a lot of time left, though. It's roughly 21 minutes. So we have a lot of hanging on to do. Because you know that CPU is going to come back with a heavy attack to try to equalize. But right now... Playing great, a great goal from Hornby. Just that extra effort over the top there. Just beats everybody, and the goalie takes him down. Looks like a airborne rock bottom move as Jordan Archer makes another save. And here we go. It puts that ball out of bounds. They're going to rush the goalie up as they get ready for this corner kick. It's all or nothing. Only one minute of stoppage time. This is going to be it. Can we hold on? Can we defend the corner? It's up. And he puts it in the net for a tight game. Ties it up right at the end of the stoppage time. And it looks like we are heading to penalties. Jamal Campbell Rice with a fantastic header right on the edge of the goal. Just nobody in a position to stop him. And it looks like we're going to end up taking this result into the penalties here. As we get this kickoff as more of a formality here. Move up a little bit just in case we get enough time. I'm able to get one opportunity, but lose possession of the ball, and that's going to do it for the half. Well, it's fantastic for the fans. It's pretty nerve-wracking for the penalty takers. First up is Murphy. And it hits the post. I go the right direction, but I don't think I would have had it if it was just inside. Tozer's going to be the first kick taker for me. A little stutter step. Puts it in the back of the net. Goalie goes the wrong way. Komen. Archer getting ready, stretching a little bit. Makes no move, but luckily another post hit. Sinclair up next for me. Puts it straight down the middle. The goalie dives to the side. Wasn't expecting the chip. Lumberski up next for Sheffield. Chips it right up the middle, and I dive to the side, just like theirs. It's all up to Byram now. If he can put it in the back of the net. A little stutter step. Goes off to the side. Cheaper, keeper was expecting a chip up the middle. He doesn't get it. If, Arch, if Archer can save this, we win. And Campbell sails it over the top. That's going to do it. We escape the first round, the opening round of the Capital One Cup with a victory. Hard-fought victory over Sheffield United. And we move on to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Take a look at the stats here. Just a very few shots for us, but we made them count. And Jordan Archer, rightfully so, gets man of the match with that fantastic 9.4 weighting. He is really the only reason we were in it all the way to the end.
I deleted the email before I recorded it, but Ricky Ravenhill, he also went down with a broken ankle, I believe it was, and he's going to be out three months as well as Darren Carter. So both of my CDMs are going to be out. So I look over to this guy, Liam O'Neill from West Brom, and I just saw him sign him on a loan. I didn't want to purchase him, much less I don't think he'd drop all the way down to a League 2 team. So I go for the loan and I still maintain cash for uh, in case I need to grab somebody else later on. I advance a few days and he accepts. I accept his offer, submit it, and we have a new starting CDM in Liam O'Neill. Up next we have another league tilt against Shrewsbury Town. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League Two. It's Northampton Town against Shrewsbury Town. Time we headed straight off to Northampton and your commentary team. Had a rainy afternoon here. Very grey, not great weather. Pretty early on though, Nichols with an opportunity. Ball gets tipped away and he collides with a guy and just completely takes him off of the play. And the referee very early in the game is setting the tone here. He's not going to tolerate any kind of bullshit like this. And Alex Nichols gets booked with a yellow. Langmey clears it out but can't keep it all the way out. They regain possession. Walk into the box and put it past Jordan Archer for a goal. 20 minutes in and we're already falling behind 1-0. Great goal. Curves right around them right into the side of the net. A few minutes later here, Nichols with a steal, very aggressive. He has an opportunity, but the goalie parries it out of bounds, and it's going to be a corner kick. Getting close to the end of the first half, and this is about how most of the first half went. We'd get close to the box, couldn't do anything with it, and then we'd lose possession. Kind of with the same for both sides. But here we go on the resulting play. Jordan Archer with a fantastic save just a few minutes before the half. And then during stoppage time... Alex Nichols with a fantastic opportunity here. Passes everybody on the back line. Shoots it, but the goalie makes a great save. Knocks it out of bounds, and that takes us into halftime. Once again, a lot better possession. We've started these last few games with a 50-50 split. Right after half, Dath gets completely taken out by that goalie who went for the cover on the ball. Missed, took him down, ran a flip, and got lucky, I think, with only getting a yellow card. Richards, a little redemption for himself, gets it past the keeper this time. Makes up for the miss in the very first game. That wasn't a very costly miss in the first one, as we did end up winning that game, ultimately 1-0. Just a few minutes later, however, Shrewsbury on the attack, and they're able to blast it past Jordan Archer. Up and over into the top shelf of the net. And just like that, we are back to a one-goal deficit. Defense got caught out of position, and there was nothing we could do about it. A few minutes later, a little miss. Whiffs on the pass. Nichols goes with a shot, and the keeper once again in the perfect position. And I was not too pleased with this next clip here. They shoot it. He makes a great save, but he loses the ball and just steps aside. The attacking player from Shrewsbury just walks up and just... Belts it right into the post that bounces into the net. No problem. I'm still not sure exactly what was going on here. He just gave the ball away. No problem. Didn't even try. Another opportunity. Sells it wide out of bounds. It's a goal kick. And right here, stoppage time. Uh, we are down 4-1. to one. The fourth goal. The footage for it got corrupted for somehow. It's all in the same file, but it just froze up. Wouldn't pass it. But Sinclair with a shot, bounces off the goalie, and Hackett runs up and pokes it past him. It's not going to do very much good in order going towards winning the game. But if we save a little bit of pride, kind of make the fans feel a little bit better about the loss, I guess. They can leave. No, we didn't get beat 4-1. to one. At least it was 4-2. to two. And as you can see here, once again, we do lose the possession battle. But it's been a little bit closer than it was during the friendlies in the preseason. We've been able to keep it closer to a 50-50 split. Not so much against Sheffield United as they pretty much dominated that one. And it looks like the game against York City is how we're going to kick off the next episode. That's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and I'll have 
hopefully daily content coming up. Uh, right now, it's pretty much going to be just this Road to Glory career mode. I don't really have anything else going on in regards to FIFA, but uh, I will try. I will try to get daily uploads up. Uh, I mentioned at the end of the last video, I am a graduate student for architecture. It's kind of taken up a lot of my outside time, so I hesitate to guarantee daily uploads. It'll be at least every two days, though. Leave any questions or comments you may have down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.